I am literally so sad right now. I sat down to film this Q&A video and just to kind of give you guys like live updates and whatever and I can't get into my messages or I can't get into my Instagram story. Like Instagram's just giving me like a big old error telling me that I can't get in. So we're gonna have to pivot and I figured in today's video we might as well chat a little bit about pregnancy I, g I will give you a little up life update as well I am engaged which is exciting too honestly I can't believe it I had no freaking idea like not a clue um, that it was happening let me actually start doing my makeup unless this will just end up taking way too long so I went ahead and I put on my moisturizer right after I got out of the shower and then I put on this elf primer I don't usually use primer like this is probably like a every now and then like if we're going out on the weekends or something like that then I'll use primer but not something that I use super often I did put that on before I started on camera just to give it a second to dry I like to like actually let it like soak in before putting on my foundation next thing I'm gonna use is some foundation I wanted to share all my faves right now because why not um, I think I'm gonna use the it cosmetics today but I did want to share my other faves. so this is the it cosmetics in light I tried the matte foundation previous which is in like the green bottle and I definitely prefer this one I love it because it has SPF in it and it is a CC cream but it's definitely like a full full coverage CC cream um, and then I also really like the L'Oreal infallible if you're looking for something that's like affordable and is still really great then definitely check out this one and then my third current fave is the Kat Von D this is the good apple I did buy this one in a shade too dark so I got the medium and it's the 030, that's the color that I have. And I think it'll be a better fit for me in the summer. Um, I do find that when I put it on, like even when I do have self tanner on, if the self tanner is like any bit washed off, it's like, it's still too dark. And then my face doesn't match my, my body and I feel like I'm in high school again because I did that way too often. So I just used this brush by Morphe. It's the M439. Okay, so I'm gonna put some concealer on. This is the Born This Way Concealer Too Faced. I know a lot of people really like like the shape tape. That's like been like a favorite for forever. But for me, I um, haven't really loved it. I find that it is like super drying. So I do prefer the Born This Way. I also really like the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. That's one that I use like all the time, um, just like on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, just cause like it is like a drugstore one and I really do like it. So I often use that one. Sometimes I'll use this one, it just kind of depends how I'm feeling. And then I always like to use my beauty blender to like dab this into my skin. So let's do this. I, um, okay, so quick little life update. So we were away in Los Angeles. Um, we just got home like a week ago and I had no idea that um, an engagement was on the rise, man. Like, not a single clue which looking back is like so funny to me because i'm such a person who's like i need to know everything like i like to know everything and i had no no freaking idea i was so surprised so shocked so it was like such like the trip was amazing like outside of the engagement but like having like that special moment and like not having any idea made it just like even like so much better too so that happened can't believe it i um let me blend this in and then I'll keep chatting. All right, I am going to set this foundation, set the concealer. I usually just use like this MAC stuff, which I like. Um, I'm not too picky with my makeup and clearly I am no pro, no expert. So take, take this as you please. Just know that like, this is definitely, fitness is my forte. Makeup, not my forte. Yeah, that's kind of the big life update. I, I still can't believe that it happened. Honestly, I was like so freaking shocked and looking back, I just can't believe that I didn't know it was happening. So anyway, returned home about a week ago. I am officially in my third trimester now, which is crazy. Like this pregnancy is flying by so quickly. I just posted on Instagram the other day um, mentioning that I just can't believe like how quickly this pregnancy has gone by. My last pregnancy went by really fast too. Too. like the days felt really long but like the pregnancy overall went by really fast and this one 
feels like it's going by even faster probably due to the fact that i have a toddler running around at home is like likely like my thought but um i just think like I'm busier with work now. There's just like more things going on with having a toddler, with like personal things, with like just life. Like life just feels so busy. So um, I can't believe that I'm in my my third trimester, but it's been it's been good so far. Um, I definitely still don't love being pregnant, to be brutally honest. I've said that in videos before, and I definitely still feel the same way about it. I feel like Chris is gonna come in here soon and be like, are you ready to go? And I'm gonna be like, mm, no, my hair is not even done yet. So I'm trying to do this quickly. I'm also sipping on a Zevia. I feel like every time I'm filming, I am like, I need something yummy to sip on. Usually it's an energy drink, but while pregnant, I'm trying to cut back on the energy drinks, or I definitely have cut back on them. So I've been opting for like Diet Coke or like sparkling water. For second trimester updates though, I definitely have more energy than in the first trimester. Like I, in my first trimester, I was like, am I ever gonna feel okay again? I definitely don't have like the same amount of energy that I had before. Like I, um, used to have a lot more motivation for workouts. Um, now I definitely don't. I have to drag my booty to the gym every single workout. There's not usually a workout where I'm like, yeah, let's do this. My SD card literally just ran out of storage, so I just had to go and delete a bunch of videos. Um, but yeah, overall, my workouts have, have definitely shifted. I am able to work out, but I still don't have motivation to work out, which is very similar to my last pregnancy. Um, and overall, I'm just trying to get to the gym like three times a week or like three workouts in and I'm happy with that um, but I just put bronzer all over my face this is the Too Faced I've talked about this too many times it's like my favorite bronzer I do like the Hula but I still prefer this one over it this is the Soleil I'm not a big eyeshadow girl so I really do find that I like to put bronzer on my eyelids just to give like a little bit of like a shadow um versus like doing like a full like look because I'm just not that good at like putting together like eyeshadow colors and stuff so sometimes it's just like easier for me to um just put a bit of bronzer on give me some color but not a crazy amount i don't know how people talk and do their makeup this is way more difficult than i than i anticipated sometimes i do my makeup and i look in the mirror and i'm like this is not great. This is not great. Often, honestly. Um, but my nutrition, I've been enjoying myself. So it's been awesome just being able to kind of eat what I want, not worrying too much. Obviously, I'm still really focused on like just nourishing like my body overall for like the sake of my health and for the sake of the baby's health. Um, but in the evenings, I'm like, if I want ice cream, I'm eating ice cream. If I want some chocolate, I'm eating some chocolate. And it's been really nice, honestly. This is just the little tart. It is in the color Party, which again, this is a fave of mine as well, and I've been using that one for a long time. I don't usually do my brows. Um, usually I just leave them, but I think I'm gonna put a little bit of color into them. I just feel like I got a bit of makeup in them, and they're looking a little light. So I used to put on um, my, uh, what's it called? What is this called? <laughs> Shimmer? No, what's it called? Highlighter, oh my goodness. I used to put on my highlighter um, before I put on my setting spray and I find it sticks so much better if I put my setting spray on first. And so the setting spray that I use is this MAC Prep and Prime and I really like it. It's not super drying. Some setting sprays, like I feel like they dry out my face so much that it's like, I just feel like I can't, like it, I, I just don't have that glowy look. Like I just look super dried. Anyway, I really like this one. <laughs> All right, we're actually almost done here. Like, let's be honest, I don't have that many steps in this whole uh, makeup routine because we like to keep things simple because I couldn't even complicate it if I wanted to. I wouldn't know what to do. So I'm gonna use this Becca highlighter. This is in the color Champagne Pop. I just have the little mini version of it because I don't use highlighter that often. And so um, it takes me forever to get through it. So I usually just put some on my cheek around here. So one thing that I've really noticed to be like a lot different in this pregnancy 
and um, that still happened in last pregnancy but is definitely amplified is my back pain um, starting at like 25 weeks is when I first started seeing my chiropractor maybe 24 weeks and I said to her I'm like I feel like I'm here way earlier compared to last time and she looked back on my like notes in my history and it, during my last pregnancy I didn't start seeing her until 36 weeks it that the pain happened two and a half months earlier I'm like this is gonna be a long third trimester but I'm just trying to do things to help manage it like doing chiropractor I actually went to um I went to uh, acupuncture today too. It was only my second session, so I'm still trying to like figure out if that is helping or not. I, I don't know. I've only been to two sessions, so I'm trying to not be like, mm, no, it's not working without like truly, you know, giving it a fair chance. So I'm going to continue to try that out. Um, if it does, if it is, you know, something that I do really love, I'll definitely keep you guys posted and let you know because I know there's a lot of other mamas who are currently pregnant right now too. If you are pregnant, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how far along you are. Um, but if there's anything that is helping me, like I'm happy to share in, in hopes that maybe it'll help you too. So I'm going to put some mascara on. Um, this one is like so dirty. <laughs> I have all my makeup like mixed together in a makeup bag most of the time or in like my drawer. So it just gets so dirty. But this is the Rare Beauty. Um, my other favorite is the L'Oreal where are you right here the uh, or Maybelline high sky these two are my faves I pulled together like all my faves just so I could like show you guys like what I like even if it's not what I'm using in this video so hopefully you can find a new product or two that maybe you can try out and I hope that you like it as much as I do I decided against doing um eyeliner so maybe I'll put it on after mascara but probably not I'm that person who like puts on like three coats of mascara like I'll put one coat on wait for it to dry just like a tiny bit and then go in put some more on then go back in put some more on how many coats of mascara do you usually put on because I um I just find that like one one round isn't like quite enough so um maybe it's overkill but again I'm no expert so uh, don't take any tips from me <laughs> Well, that is drying a little bit. I'm going to put on this Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade Glaze, and I like it because it is not matte and it's not super dark either. It's just like pretty neutral, a little bit of pink. Um, I just find that it's like super, super neutral, and it kind of like goes with any outfit if you're like dressing up or dressing down. I don't know what I'm gonna wear tonight either, so I'll need to figure that out. Um, but yeah. As for my second trimester, I feel like I don't have too much to update on. I just feel like I've been crazy busy. There's so many things I'm working on right now. I feel like I need to like look in a different mirror since I don't have like a full mirror here and like see what my face looks like all together. Um, and then I'm gonna quickly curl my hair. I wanna give you guys some more tips on nutrition if you are pregnant, just to give you some general direction too, in hopes that, um, you know, we're making sure that we're all nourishing our babies and our bodies too. Um, so I'm gonna go grab my straightener and my curler. I have not drinking enough water today and I always get headaches in the evening, especially while pregnant if I don't drink enough water. So if you haven't either, cheers to you. Also, look at this cute plant that I got. I got it from Home Depot, just in case there's any other Canadians watching. It's just like a cute little plant. And then I got this little planter. I saw the little stand and I was like, so cute. Um, and then I'm gonna use the glossing spray, which is like a, a thermal and shine spray. I mostly use it to protect my hair. I usually will straighten my ends a little bit, which I kind of did a little bit this morning because they were quite wacky. So I'll just straighten my ends a little bit and then I'll usually just straighten my baby hairs a little bit through here. And then I will curl the rest of my hair. And I generally um, use this wand. It's technically not a wand if you try to purchase the same one. It's the mint brand. I'll link it down below. It's the extra large, extra long barrel. Love it. I did take off the clasp that it comes with. So if you want to use it like a regular um, curling iron you can 
Okay, while we're waiting for that to heat up, um, let's chat about nutrition during your first trimester. I know nutrition during your first trimester can be the biggest challenge. Um, I've definitely felt this in like both of my pregnancies, especially if you're sick or like worse, if you're like nauseous feeling, like sometimes eating calories can be really, really hard. Um, the general recommendation, again, this is so dependent. Every person, every body is so different, um, but generally they do recommend eating at maintenance calories during the first trimester of your pregnancy which for a lot of women is really difficult to do like if you're unwell and you don't feel good and you're nauseous like it is so hard to eat sometimes so my um, words of encouragement is really to just do the best that you can your nutrition is probably not gonna be perfect um, and you kind of just have to accept that um, but know that you know you will likely feel better during your pregnancy some people are sick through their entire pregnancy but not majority of people right majority of people it's just that first trimester I was constantly reminding myself in my first trimester that it will get better you will feel better this isn't going to last forever so some general recommendations for nutrition during your first trimester as I mentioned is to try to eat at maintenance calories which is probably gonna be really really difficult but just do the best that you can like if there are foods that you're craving like lean into those foods like for me like some nights I would be craving like soup or like pho or something like that and if I was craving it it was usually the food I would just end up choosing because I had so many food aversions that like lots of times like nothing interested me so if there was something where I was like oh that kind of sounds good then I would just kind of like lean into that craving and I would try to you know like add extra vegetables to the meal just to like make it a little bit more nutritious or add extra protein to the meal um, just because I do find that like for majority of women that we work with and just pregnancies in general, it is super common to like crave super high carb foods, which it's okay to have, you know, higher carbs, but you wanna make sure that you're still getting balanced nutrition and you're getting enough fats and enough proteins and it's still important. So um, sometimes like asking for things with like extra protein and stuff can be helpful in just getting in some more like just balanced nutrition across the board. With my curls, I try to kind of go like back and forth with them. I find that if I um, go all the same way, I just end up having like one big wave, which is fine, but like sometimes that's not the look that I want. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I usually like to leave like an inch or two out at the bottom. I find it like gives like more loose waves versus like really tight ringlets. So that's why I have like that bit out at the bottom there. So as for nutrition goes in your second trimester, generally people start feeling better, so it does get a little bit easier. Um, but overall, it is recommended to be consuming like at least 150 to 300 additional calories. So that's above your maintenance calories, which feels like a lot of food, but it takes so much energy and calories to grow a baby and to make sure that the baby is getting the nutrients and nourishment that the baby needs. And so um, it is really important that you are eating enough food during your pregnancy sometimes I chat with women and they're like I don't want to gain too much weight during your pregnancy and I'm like gaining weight is part of a pregnancy like it is what has to happen to make sure that you have a healthy pregnancy and that the baby is healthy too and so um, that again is a general recommendation always 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 talk to your doctor or your OB I also get a lot of questions on supplements while pregnant and my answer is always the same we, I always suggest talking to your doctor oh so, yeah generally people feel better in their second trimester so it is easier to get in food if you're still feeling like a little bit nauseous or you're feeling like ah it's just so hard to like get in those calories like having things that are like higher calorie is easier so rather than going for like a no fat um greek yogurt or like a low fat cottage cheese like try opting for things that like have higher ha have higher fat or are higher calorie that can really help with just adding in more calories throughout your day without really even noticing another one of my faves is smoothies I find that smoothies are such a good way to get in a lot of calories like you can you can make like a, a lower calorie um, smoothie if you want to but you can also like bulk up a smoothie so much and make it like a six seven hundred calorie eight hundred calorie smoothie and there's so many different things that you can add into it um, 
to make it higher calorie and like you can add so many micronutrients in like you can add veggies in and spinach in and like oftentimes you don't even taste it too which is really nice so um smoothies are really helpful and again like during my first and first half of my second trimester like I wasn't really craving like vegetables and stuff so rather than you know forcing myself to eat vegetables I like to put them in smoothies or I would really opt for like fruit that way I was still getting in lots of really great nutrients from a variety of fruit of fruit <laughs> and choosing fruits with different colors can be really um, great for your body as well just because different colors offer different like antioxidants different nutrients and minerals too so um, rather than you know just having like a banana every day like maybe try switching it up so that you're getting like different nutrients in through your um, like produce as well as for gaining weight in your pregnancy though, like honestly, it is not something that I have paid any attention to. Like I have not stepped on my scale, like maybe like twice, just because in my first trimester, I wanted to make sure that I was, um, you know, still gaining the appropriate amount of weight because I wasn't able to like eat as much food. Um, but like, it is so important to make sure that you are gaining enough weight. And so definitely talk to your doctor about that as well. If it's something that, you know, you're concerned about, or if you're having challenges of feeling like, oh, I'm overwhelmed with like gaining weight during pregnancy. Cause that is a conversation that I have a lot in my direct message. Um, just have that conversation like with your OB or with your doctor, um, so that they can kind of give you some tips to help you know you feel better around um navigating pre pregnancy like I know it's such a hard challenging time especially like I found it even more so in like my first pregnancy versus like my second I definitely feel like this time around I obviously know a little bit more about like what to expect and um just like body confidence overall has definitely improved compared to my first but I feel like talking about anything and like talking to your doctor can definitely be really, really helpful, especially if you are struggling with being okay with like gaining that weight during your pregnancy too. Um, and then lastly, as far as your third trimester goes, you do want to keep increasing in calories. So generally it is recommended to be at least like 350 to 500 plus calories, like over your maintenance, which again, seems like a lot of food, but you are growing a freaking human and that takes a lot. So it is, um, you know, recommended to be eating that much food. And for some people like that can be really hard to do, but um, adding in like more volume throughout your day can be helpful. So like I've also been into peanut butter and toast and banana, maybe instead of having like one tablespoon of peanut butter, like doubling it up to two tablespoons just to get in some extra fats or avocado toast is another one of my faves currently um, with scrambled eggs. And again, like having, rather than having just like half or a quarter of avocado, like double up on that so you're just getting more volume in throughout the day um, and then adding in additional meals too, like maybe waking up a little bit earlier and eating something earlier on if your body is not used to you know eating calories early in the morning you're just generally not gonna be hungry in the morning and the only way to kind of retrain your body around that is to just start eating more food honestly so um, those are just some tips to kind of help you add in some more calories throughout your day if you feel like oh my gosh how am I supposed to eat this much food so um, I hope that that is helpful. I'm going to quickly finish out my hair because we got to go really, really soon here. And I'll show you how I set my hair after. Okay, I just had to step away from the um, camera to look in a mirror to actually make sure my hair didn't look completely crazy before I turn off these hot instruments. Um, so I used to use like hairspray and so much of it because I thought that that was the only thing that would hold my hair, but I do find with extensions, like my hair does hold a little bit better. So I'm not gonna use hairspray. I'm gonna just use this texturizing spray by Unite and usually this will hold my hair. And I find it'll hold usually probably like three or four days and then usually kind of by that point it starts going a little bit straight but that's that's enough for me so um i 
think that basically wraps things up. I am just going to run my finger fingers like through my hair for now and then before we go, I will run a brush through my hair just to like loosen the curls a little bit more. I find if I loosen my curls too early, then um, my the curls just like fall out really quickly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me video and little pregnancy update as well as just info on nutrition. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.